Governor. One of the things the master plan said was the university should be tuition free. <laughs> so that's been dropped a long way. And also that students who are non-resident should be in the uh, higher um, percentages, ranks of their classes. Um, so uh, to restrict and make it exceptional when, when out-of-state people came in or out-of-country people, and that they'd be special students, not just uh, on the same criteria. But I, I want to raise the more fundamental point because uh, this, you do have a lot of applications. And so between all the applications, I don't know how many, hundreds of thousands, and um, you know, you've got to subtract because everybody has to apply to five or ten schools these days. I'm sure you can figure out which are unique and what are uh, duplicates. Uh, but this university idea, which is so old, uh, based on seat time and being within the uh, ivy-colored walls in some sense, or some equivalent of that, um, we go from the premise that we need a knowledgeable, skilled um, citizenry, and that we have these people who are low income and who haven't had the experience of this that grows of academe. So therefore, we need unlimited expansion of, of the enterprise. But I think if we're going to really get seri intellectually serious, we have to step back and say, are there what are the most effective ways of certificating knowledge? And it, of course, the first, what, how does knowledge get disseminated? How do intellectual skills get formed? Uh, how is curiosity stimulated? And then how are we going to certificate whatever the results are? Now, it seems to me that if we stand back and see what's, what's the larger objective, it, it isn't just to live within these three segments where people sit a certain number of hours and then they take a test and they get something. I mean, the, the world is, as I say, it's, it's, it's changing. We have three segments. Maybe we have five or ten. Or maybe we could put it in such a way. I mean, the, the flexibility and the speed at which knowledge is moving it can't, isn't always captured by the, the way we have this three-segmented system. So all I'm saying is if we're really going to think about the master plan, we have to step back a little bit and try to imagine what it is we're doing. Because it is expensive, and you only have so much money. And so... Without, unless we're going to just engender perpetual and deepening discontent, uh, I think we need a, a fresher, more imaginative look at how we might uh, equip our citizens and our non-citizens uh, to live better lives. And I, so we are following. I, we have a mold. I don't know if it goes back to the University of Bologna or where the, wherever the hell this thing started, but it's pretty old. And I'll repeat again what David Saxon told me once when I was doing something he didn't like. He said, Governor, the university was here before the state, and it will be here long after the state is gone. So I get that. that the university has power in its form. Uh, but I do want to see some intellectual uh, imagination on how we uh, transmit the knowledge, how we certificate it. And um, so... What's, what's uh, community college, what's Cal State, what's UC, who should be getting in, who shouldn't. And remember, the 18-year-olds the aren't growing. That demographic is not the baby boom of, of the 1960s. So there is a flat. Uh, the, the 14 to 18-year-olds aren't going to grow in the next four years. So if you keep growing at 6%, you're doing some you, – because it's one of these goods that there's no limit. And that's – that's one of my issues here with all the other parts of government. It's Government is only good. Knowledge is only good. Therefore, there's no limit. If somebody else is paying for it, then let's have more and more and more. So we, we have to put in artificial constraints and boundaries in order to live within the money we have. And so I'm, I'm just inviting uh, some thinking through, you know, what's, what's the number that gets into UC? Uh, how the, the transfer, the collaboration between the three. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't have the answers, but I do have some questions. Uh, and it's driven by resource constraint, 
and then the availability of different forms of learning and certification um, in different forms of delivering uh, the experience. So uh, I, I'm asking you to get out of the notion that there's something called two-year Cal State 4, UC top 12.5%. Maybe it should be 10%. Or maybe 50, I don't know. Or maybe if UC was more open and fluid through online, maybe you could take 18%. Or maybe not. I don't know what the, I just don't think any of these things are uh, uh, biblically uh, permanent. This was a compromise. It was a fight, a political battle between a Dumpke and Kerr and and it was just a deal. And now we rationalize it as a form. But I think the form can be opened up. And I think the community colleges have a, a tremendous amount of flexibility. Now, I know when I grew up, the idea of going to a junior college was unthinkable. You had to go to a four-year college. Well, today, four-year college costs a lot of money. And if you can go to a community college for two years, you're saving yourself and your parents a lot of money. So if that's the saving, Maybe online is the saving. Maybe there are many different reconfigurations of what this very diffuse, amorphous, almost limitless thing called edu higher education, which we all have to have now. Uh, I just think if we stand back a little bit and uh, look down from a higher perspective, we might get some ideas on how to make some modest changes in the next couple of years. Thank you, Governor. I, I also want to say, though, that while in the Brown family it may have been unthinkable to go to a two-year college, as you know, for many families, it would be like a great accomplishment and honor for some of you. Know, I, but I'm just saying, I get that. <laughs> well, my father never went to college. Okay. He went directly to night law school, and he did okay for himself.